This Facebook Live is part two of a six part series where I go over how I overcame my fear of video. Part two being overcoming the fear of embarrassment. Now, if we've never met, my name is Stephen Coney of Stephen O's Marketing, and I help insurance agents find customers online using video. So if you're looking to find customers using YouTube or Facebook, or if you're just curious on how and where to get started with online video, then feel free to like or follow my page and tune in my free content. Now, we can all relate to the fear of embarrassment. We're afraid of being judged by our mistakes. We're afraid of being seen as dumb or foolish or stupid or incompetent because none of us want to be put in a position where we don't know what we're doing. And when you start making videos for the first time, that's essentially what you're doing. You're putting yourself in a situation, putting yourself in a position where you don't have all the answers, where you're not really sure of yourself, which can lead to embarrassment. So now the way, um, what I did to help me overcome my fear of embarrassment was two things. One, I, I got rid of the expectation in myself of being perfect and having it all figured out. And then two, I had to remind myself who I'm making these videos for. So to go to the first tip um, on how I got over my my fear of embarrassment, which was getting rid of the expectation of being perfect, is because I'm I'm not perfect. I don't have all the answers. I don't have it figured it out. I'm figured out. I'm brand new. I'm learning. I'm continuously making videos and then learning from those videos. And I'm continue to learn to um I, I'm gonna continue to learn when I make videos because I'm gonna make thousands and thousands of videos. So I'm also gonna give myself more chances to figure it out. So and that's how you learn. That's how you figure things out. And then when you make these videos for your for your customers, for your audience, when I make these videos for you, I make these videos with the intention of helping you guys. So it's okay for me to make a mistake as long as it helps you guys get over a hurdle and figure out whatever problems that you guys are facing or the topic of the video. So that alleviates my fear of embarrassment because I'm helping you guys. And then two, going back to the second tip, um, the second tip was to remember who you're making these videos for. So when you put yourself out there, it doesn't matter how well you do, how bad you do. There's always someone, there's always some individuals that are gonna have something negative to say about what you're doing. But what they say, their comments, their dislikes, don't have any, don't hold any weight to me and how I feel about myself. And they shouldn't hold any weight to you. Because also, too, you're not making the videos for the skeptic. You're not making the videos for the trolls. You're not making videos for the negative people of these negative audiences. You're making videos for the people that it would best serve. You're making videos for people that are looking for your guidance, looking for your advice, and look up to you, and, and they're looking for the word from you on what they should do. So if you make mistakes during your videos, it's okay. They don't judge you for making these mistakes because they admire you. They love you. They cherish the fact that you're willing to put yourself out there, willing to challenge yourself, willing to do things that are just so difficult in order to help them. So, and you'll be surprised on how much praise you'll get when you actually step outside your comfort zone to help other people. So there's no reason to be embarrassed when you make a mistake, but your intentions are to help other people in their endeavors or whatever they have, whatever challenges they may have in their lives. So to recap my two ways on that helped me um, get over my fear of embarrassment when making videos was one, getting rid of the expectation that I'm going to, I have to be perfect. I have to have everything figured out because I don't have everything figured out. I don't have to because I'm learning. I'm continuously learning and then I'm going to be here for the long run. I'm going to continue to make a bunch of videos. So I'm going to figure this out. And then two, remember who you're making these videos for. You're not making the videos for the skeptics. You're not going online to please people that have nothing but negative thoughts about you. You're here to, you're making video, you're put, you're going online to make video for people that are looking for your guidance, looking for your assistance, and are actually admired and inspired by how the, the challenges and that all the 
self challenges that you put yourself through in order to help them. Now, my question of the day, has embarrassment kept you from recording video? So type, um, type yes or no in the comments below. I'll be really interested in seeing what you guys had to say. Uh, and until, uh, until next time on my next Facebook Live, I'll see you guys around. Take care.